Hello everyone. I've still got this cold, but I want to give you some good news. First bit of good news is, yes, I have pre-ordered Far Cry 4. Uh, I thought about it and decided that the crew wasn't worth pre-ordering. I know the company, but I know they've recently sort of... Their recent games have not been that interesting. The crew is made by Ubisoft, and Watch Dogs was a bit of a joke. Played about through an eighth of it, and it's kind of like, oh my god, the protagonist is such an asshole. I just want to hit him. Aiden Pierce can go and fuck off, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I also want to talk about pre-orders. I am starting to have a new philosophy. If you're pre-ordering something that you know it's part of a series, say Call of Duty, and you trust the people who make it, and it's not a new company like the latest one, which is going to be made by Sledgehammer, uh, then, yeah, pre-order. But I think pre-order bonuses nowadays are getting a little silly. If you didn't realise, there is actually... I don't know why I'm wearing these. Uh, if you didn't realise, there is actually a funny thing. If you tried to pre-order Watch Dogs to get every single piece of DLC content, you couldn't do it. Every piece of pre-order content you can't actually get, which I find fucking ludicrous. I really do. This is why I'm not pre-ordering the crew. Uh, the crew basically is a... USA racer throughout the USA you can race in teams sort of thing I was thinking of setting up the the T1s ah yes yes I I couldn't resist it but I I played the beta it was good but I've been bitten by Ubisoft before with something like Watch Dogs which was Poor, to say the least. But I've also been bit, been bitten by World Racers. Uh, there's something called TDU2, Test Drive Unlimited 2. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you buy it. Uh, I pre-ordered it for the Koenigsegg CCX. I never even got to drive the Koenigsegg CCX. Uh, because... My friend couldn't get past the first race. I was good enough to get past the first race. I couldn't get past the first championship. That's how bad that game was AI-wise. And the controls were all wrong for a racer. It didn't control like I liked. It controlled like somebody put oil on all four tyres and when you try to brake you shouldn't be skidding in an Aston Martin DBS uh, it's that is the only pre-order I've ever actually uh, felt bad about and I still feel bad about that pre-order today because I actually I think I got my friend into it and I was thinking yeah this is going to be good because I pre I loved TDU Test Drive Unlimited the original game was awesome a big open world you could drive from one point a to point b with a reason of i want to go from point a to point b in tdu2 it was more of a chore to drive from point a to point b because there was too much traffic there was too much too many obstacles it wasn't a clean open road like in tdu there was the odd bit of traffic that you had to dodge around sort of action car style but it wasn't that difficult uh i'm not sure how the crew is going to be i i like the idea but i don't want to be sitting there going uh, i wish i hadn't bought this but i've i am going to buy far cry 4 what edition i'm going to get i'm not going to get the super duper edition i'm going to get the edition which has the hopefully i get this edition I get the edition which has the Yak missions. Yes, there is a Yak mission which I get a shotgun with. Uh, and the Harpoon. 
basically that's all I want to get. I don't want to get the minigun or anything. This is the problem I have with some pre-orders. It's like you get a really cool weapon, and then you find out the really cool weapon is OP as hell. And you sort of think, oh, fuck God's sake. They didn't do that in Far Cry 3, thankfully. You had to earn the pre-order weapons by basically earning the money to get them. Which means that they are still overpowered as hell. I've seen them because I haven't actually got the pre-order weapons for... Well, I've got one or two, but I haven't got the special ones that my mate has. Strange of that, but never mind. Sorry. Oh, God. Yes, yes, you can timestamp when I pick my nose. I won't care. I've got a cold. Oh. I'm the only person in the U- entire universe would have, who would have a cold during the summer. Uh, yeah, so Far Cry 4 got. Crew not got. I'm going to wait until it gets cheaper. There was nothing saying that I should buy it. There's okay, there's about four cars for pre order. But frankly, the four cars are rubbish. <laughs> uh, there's a BMW Z uh, X5, which is a. No, not X5. The one in the Bond film, but a later version, the. Uh, bollocks. This cold is really. F- screwing with my brain uh there's a mini there's and two other things that i really don't care about and actually the interest is put brain back in the interesting thing is if you look at what those things are they're power-ups for early game you're going to be overpowered early game which i think god i'm ill Spitting, oh god! It, I'm going to be overpowered early game, and I don't want that. I really don't. So, especially in a game like that, I want to level reasonably at a reasonable pace, but not be overpowered early, because frankly, I wouldn't like the game. Uh so what was I going to say? Uh, that's it, really. So, Far Cry Four is a yes. Thanks for listening to my ramblings about pre-orders and Far Cry 4. Goodbye.